Hey everyone, my name is Sumit. I am a digital chess coach and I am back with another video. Today I am going to show you how to checkmate with two rooks. In the earlier videos I have shown you how to checkmate with, a, with two rooks, with a queen and a single rook. Uh, and I have given the links to those videos in the description. If you have not seen those videos, please check it out. It's very important to learn the basic checkmating patterns, especially how to checkmate with a single rook, how to checkmate with two bishops, how to checkmate with a knight and a bishop. Because especially in the Brits games, you won't get time to think and figure it out. So you need to understand the patterns well and so that the moves will come automatically to you. So I've seen uh, even strong players, even masters struggle to checkmate uh, in the basic endings. I've seen um, grandmasters struggle for checkmate, uh, you know, uh, queen versus rook. Even bishop and knight checkmate is a big struggle. You don't know the patterns. I will cover that uh, checkmating pattern in the next video. But in this video, we are going to check. We are we are going to check out how to checkmate with two bishops. So without further ado, let's have a look and uh, let's check it out how to checkmate with two bishops. So this is the basic checkmating pattern and. Unlike the rooks and uh, queen, you have to push the king to the corner because bishops operate diagonally. So you can deliver checkmate only if the king is pushed to the corner. So the black king has actually pushed to the black corner here and this bishop delivers a checkmate. This is a basic pattern and there is a Im mirror image I can show you. This is the mirror image of, uh, of, of checkmate. This is how you checkmate. You checkmate with the white bishop. In this case so this is the checkmating pattern that you have to aim for this is the final position that you have to aim for so this is the position that we are going to uh checkmate the the enemy king which is the black king and it is white to move and uh, the checkmate can be delivered within 20 moves if you play correctly so basically if you watched my earlier videos um i've i've told you that in the rook and queen Checkmates when you're in the elementary checkmating uh, pattern. If you're using uh, a rook or a queen to checkmate, you have to restrict the movement of the enemy king and um, slowly box him up uh, using your heavy pieces, which is a queen or a rook or two rooks, and slowly cut down the movement of the king and push the king to the back rank or a file, and then they do checkmate. But in the case of bishops, uh, since they are they uh, operate diagonally, you have to create walls and to restrict the movement of the black king. So I'll tell you in a minute uh, what I mean by wall. Uh, so here uh, um, it is white to move and white play white, white plays bishop d3 and uh, black attacks that bishop by playing king to D4. So back uh, is trying to back the bishop and push it away. So what we do here, the strategy is to restrict the the the, the movement of the black king, push it to the corner, and uh, uh, using the bishop as a tandem, with the help of your king, uh, you have to deliver the checkmate. So uh, this king has to be pushed to this corner or this corner. Here, uh, white plays king e2, uh, black goes back to king e5. Now, the most important move, bishop e3. Now, see this wall that we have created with two bishops. So, these two bishops are firing in these two, these two diagonals. Sorry, um, like this and like this. So, the, the black king is confined to this wall. He cannot reach that wall. So he has to restrict his, his movement in that V that we have created. The earlier uh, in games that you have seen, the, the case of, in the case of uh, rook and queen, we create walls uh, in the rectangular or square shape. But here it is V shape. Now, let's see how this is done, the pattern. It's a very simple pattern actually. Now king uh, d5. King f3, king e5. Now again, this is how you should move the bishop. Bishop e4. Further restricting the movement of the bishop like this. So you have to imagine that the, the, the diagonal 
and the power of the bishop and which are the squares that it controls so that you can remember this pattern in d6 bishop to d4 in e6 now push your don't move your bishop anywhere this is a common mistake done by the beginners uh, this is this these two bishops control these squares so always remember that bishops are deadly when they are used in combination and when they are uh, in tandem with the, the adjacent squares it, they cover lots lot and lots of squares squares and uh, you have to use them in tandem do not move it elsewhere or uh, further away from each other you have to keep them together so uh, king d6 king f4 king e6 now bishop e5 just observe how i am placing the bishop uh, it is either um, vertically or horizontally so that the squares are taken away from the now again uh, if you see uh, the black king is confined to this small v the v is uh, getting smaller and smaller now black plays king d7 bishop e4 king e5 now king f5 king d7 now push your king further up king f6 now uh, black cannot play to king uh, to his king to e7 you cannot move here you cannot move here you cannot move here the only squares available uh, to the black king is uh, this one this one and this one so he plays uh, if he plays king e8 then you have to restrict the movement of the king so that you know you have to push this king or drive this king towards the corner where your king is placed so for example if you, you it will take more time for your king which is the white king to get to this square right so it is much easier for the white king to move you just have to move one square uh, adjacent to the square which is occupying now uh, and if you if, if you drive this king to this corner it will be very easy for you to, uh, to deliver your king so you have to restrict the movement of the black king so play bishop to c7. Now only square is king um, to f8. Now play bishop to c6. Now these two uh, bishops are controlling these two squares. So, so king cannot move there. Only square uh, the black king can move is g8. A, so, so the black king moves to g8, which is the only square. And now do not move your bishop. Uh, because we have we want to restrict the movement of the black king and he should not occupy the square so it's very important that you move king to g6 so after king g6 king f8 bishop uh, d6 check king g8 bishop b5 check king h8 and bishop e5 is checkmate the very simple pattern that you have to follow you have to keep the bishop uh, adjacent to each other and follow the pattern which I have taught you uh, the bishop and the king should be close to each other and uh, restrict the movement of the black king and drive him to the corner and restrict the movement of the king using your your king and uh, with the other bishop uh, which is square uh, which the king the black king occupies deliver to well so until next time bye bye stay safe and uh, hope you enjoyed this video